Hi, I'm George Pearson, and this is what the Maps feature, Places feature, looks like inside of Photoshop Elements 2019. Now here's what it's looking like in Photoshop Elements 2018. Instead of the Map, you get this thing right here, where it says Map not available at this point. I'll tell you what has happened here, but first, if you like this video, make sure you click that Like button, and of course, share with your friends. Just click on Share right down below and share with your friends through social media. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe as well. And if you want to learn everything about using Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training courses, and there's a link right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. Here we are in the Elements Organizer version 2018 and this applies to any version previous to 2019. If you click on this little More button right here, it brings up this page over on Adobe. Map does not load in Elements Organizer 18, 15, 14, 13, 12, and 11, or actually anything before that as well. So you no longer have maps available. What has happened is, you can see it right here, November 29, Google changed the way they deliver maps. So the map is broken now because of Google, not because of Adobe. They've left that feature in there, but it's now broken because of a change on Google Maps itself. As far as I can tell, the only recommendation from Adobe is to upgrade to version 2019 of Photoshop Elements if you want to use that map function. Not really a very good recommendation if you don't want anything else over there. It's fairly expensive just for those maps, but if you find those maps very useful, then that's probably what you have to do. Now, one thing about the maps, and I'll come right down here. There we go. The location tags, that remains in there. You can still find all of your tags that you've placed on your images. You just won't see the map any longer. Let's switch back over to the elements. Here we are. Places, once you get past that one warning dialog box, you see your map over here on the right-hand side, but as you can see, map is currently unavailable. You'll never get anything else in here. And from past experience with Adobe, they're not going to be making any updates to any previous version of Photoshop Elements. They're not going to be fixing this, in other words. So you'll have to upgrade if you've been using that map function or simply stop using the map function. It's really up to you on how you want to approach that. But that's what's happened. Back on November 29, 2018, Google changed the way they use the maps or use the map information and the Elements Organizer no longer works with the new version of Google Maps. Now it's not just the Elements Organizer, it's any program actually which works with Google Maps if it hasn't been updated. For instance, you will also see this exact same problem in Adobe's Lightroom. Let me bring up the one version earlier on Lightroom. This would be the 2018 version. Let me just bring that up here. And there you go. This is the 2018 version of Adobe's Lightroom, in this case Lightroom Classic CC, and the 2018 version no longer works with Maps as well. Right there, Map is just offline. Get that same thing we saw over there on the Elements Organizer. So Google Maps is now broken, and the only way to fix it is to upgrade to the latest version. And it's going to be either the Photoshop Elements 2019, if you're working with Photoshop Elements, or if you're working with Photoshop Lightroom Classic CC, it's the 2019 upgrade on Classic CC. Now, if you have a subscription to the Lightroom, then you should have already automatically been upgraded. To get this one view here, I've had to switch over to a Windows 8 machine because Windows 8, for a different reason, doesn't upgrade to the latest version of Lightroom. So on my Windows 10 machine, the map runs just fine with the upgrade to Lightroom, but on the Windows 8 machine, which can't upgrade to Lightroom because it's not upgrading, we still have the same problem with that map feature having disappeared. So there you go. The map feature, as you can see, is now broken inside of anything earlier than 2019, and that's all you're going to be getting over here on the right-hand side. Don't forget to hit that Like button, and of course, click on Share as well and share with your friends. Also, if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And to learn everything about Photoshop Elements, look for my complete training course, and that link is right down there in the description. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, 
click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.